السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ The Prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has said, Indeed, he who recites Salah Durood upon me the most will be the closest to me on the day of judgment. Please recite after me. As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habib Allah. As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabi Allah. وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله. Please recite the following dua after me. يا الله الزوجل. Open the doors of knowledge. And wisdom for us. And have mercy on us. O the one who is the most honourable. And glorious. In our last speech, we discussed the guide we need to have regarding Jannah. And this week, insha Allah Azza wa Jal, we will continue to discuss the topic of Jannah. From amongst the maidens of Jannah given to the men, there will be at least uh, two such maidens that even though they will be wearing 70 sets of clothes, their ankles will be seen through these clothes, uh, through these clothes like red wine is seen through a clear glass. And this is because Almighty Allah has compared them to rubies. If one makes a hole in a ruby and threads a string through it, then the string uh, will, will clearly see uh, clearly see seen through the precious gemstone. A man will see his face in her face more clear than seeing in a mirror. <coughs> The smallest pearl that she wears will be so beautiful that it will give brightness from the east right up to the west. One narration says that if a man places his hand on her back, then he will be able to see it through her clothes and flesh. If the clothes of Jannet have to be worn in the world, then all those who see it will, um, will fall unconscious and the sights of the people will not be able to bear its powerful rays. Subhanallah. When a man goes to a maiden of Jannet, he will find her pure uh, and chaste uh, as the first time. But there will be no discomfort for the male or female. If a whore has to drop her saliva into the sea, then because of the uh, sweetness of her saliva, the entire sea will become sweet. Their singing will not be the shaitani songs of this world, but will be the praise of Almighty Allah. They have such sweet voices that the creation has never heard such a sweet voice before. They, they will also sing a song in which they will say, We are to live forever and we will never die. We are those in comfort and will never be trapped in discomfort. We are happy and will never be sad. Congratulations to those who have become ours and we have become theirs. With the exception of hair on the head, eyelashes and eyebrows, the Jannatis will not have any other hair. An ordinary Jannati will receive 80,000 servants and 72 wives. He will be given such a crown that the smallest pearl in it will illuminate the entire east and west. If a person wishes to have a child, then they will become pregnant and have a child within a moment. They will not be older than 30 years of age. They will not feel the need to sleep, since sleep is a kind of death. When the Jannati enters Jannat, then each will receive a status according to his or her deeds. After a week, the Jannatis will be given the permission to make Didar of Almighty Allah. The Arsh of Allah will appear in one of the gardens of paradise and the Jannatis will see Almighty Allah. Pulpits of light, pearls, rubies, emeralds, gold, silver, musk and camphor will be laid for the Jannatis to sit on. None of them will feel, feel inferior to another. They will see Almighty Allah so clearly as every person sees the sun or the full moon from wherever he is. This is an example without comparison. Almighty Allah will address some of the Jannatis reminding of their sins and wrongs. He will say, O certain person, the son of certain. 
Do you remember that which you did on such and such, uh, such, such a day? The person being addressed will humbly say, Oh Allah, have you not pardoned me? Allah will say, Yes, I have pardoned you. It is through my mercy that you have received this position. Everyone will, everyone will still be in this highly special condition when the sky will become overcast with clouds and a fragrance will rain upon them and it will be a fragrance that they have never smelt before. Oh. Almighty Allah will say, Go towards the place of respect which I have prepared for you and take as you desire. They will go towards a special marketplace which will be guarded by angels. They will see those items which they had never seen or heard of and nor did it cost their, cost, cross their thoughts. They will be given whatever they desire. There will be no buying and selling. The Jannatis will meet with one another in this marketplace. The one with the less status will see the clothes of the one with the, with the higher status and admire it. All of a sudden he will feel that, feel that his own clothes are the best. This is because there is no sadness in Jannat. From there they will go. They will each go to their respective homes. Their wives will welcome them, welcome them and say that their beauty has increased and is, not, and is now more than when they had left their homes. They will say that they have been blessed with the honor of sitting before Almighty Allah. It is for this, this, it is for this reason that we have become so illuminated. When the Jannatis wish to meet with each other, then either their thrones will move to wherever they desire or they will be transported by very swift animals. If they intend to visit any person or place, then their desire will be in uh, instantly fulfilled. The Jannati who will be of the lowest order will have wives or uh, orchards, etc., that will have that will stretch out for a distance of a thousand years. The most chosen ones in Jannat will be blessed with making didar of Almighty Allah, Almighty Allah, morning and evening. When the Jannat is enter Jannat, then Almighty Allah will ask if they desire anything else. Then will say they will say, "You whitened our faces." and entered us into Jannah. You freed us from hell. There is nothing else we desire. Then the veils will be removed and the Jannatis will make a deed out of uh, Almighty Allah. Could they receive anything greater, more valuable than the opportunity of making deed out of uh, Almighty Allah? Oh, Oh, Allah Almighty, bless us with the great opportunity of making your deed or through the blessings of your your beloved, generous and merciful Prophet Sallallahu May Allah Subhanahu accept our efforts and give us the ability to learn and safeguard our qida. I mean. Next week, inshallah, we will start to discuss the topic of Jahannam. Until then, please remember us in your du'as. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.